Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick update on the Sony A6300. For those of you wondering what has happened to my camera coverage, well, I'm back, and for a very good reason. Today, Sony introduced their first firmware update for the A6300, which I've touted as one of the best mirrorless cameras on the market, even better than my A7R Mark II, simply because of its price point and overall capabilities. Uh, but the A6300 is not a perfect camera. In fact, one of its big drawbacks has been heat, or I should say overheating issues. Uh, in fact, there are a few YouTubers out there who put out videos talking about how it was flawless and didn't overheat and they had to retract their videos altogether. Um, the good news is with this brand new 1.1 firmware update, uh, roughly 200 and I think 30 some odd, 250 some odd megs, I can't remember, I uh, did it uh, the other day. I will post a link to that firmware update in the description. Most of those overheating issues have been resolved and the firmware update took all of uh, a total of three minutes to do. So if you don't do this firmware update, uh, I don't really know what to tell you. Uh, so basically, as you can see right here, if I jump into the version number, you will see we are now running at 1.10. Uh, Sony claims improved picture quality and heat performance, and what they really mean to say with that is that they've done the same thing they did with the A7R Mark II, and that was listened to customers because they knew that they had a winner of a camera, which the A6300 really is at its uh, $1,000 or uh, a little bit overpriced point with uh, the included kit lens you see here, but the fact that in many instances and weather conditions, uh, people were finding themselves hitting overheating uh, limitations, which equated to the camera shutting down at under its 29, uh, little under 30 minute video cap that all still imaging devices here in the U.S. face. That was a drawback. Again, much like the far more expensive full frame A7R Mark II, which Hopefully we'll be seeing an update too soon. We're right around the same time that it launched last year. But uh, natural disasters, um, as they often do, have played a role in uh, production issues. But that aside, the fact of the matter here is that this firmware update has not perfected the camera, but has put it in a position now where it manages heat in a far better way. Yes, you didn't get the uncompressed raw that you got with the A7R Mark II, and you shouldn't expect that. You're buying a camera that is not a fraction of the price, but is nowhere near the price of the A7R Mark II. And nowhere near the form factor, doesn't have the stabilization, but when it comes to the quality of this APS-C 24 megapixel center, uh, sensor, excuse me, and what it's able to do both in still and video, uh, Sony has tweaked the algorithms and tweaked the processor performance so that now I would say, in my experience, you can easily uh, hit that 30 minute mark and you'll have a lot less difficulty swapping out batteries or using one of the uh, many tricks or suggestions out there in order to continue recording without damaging the equipment uh, or just not being able to use it at all, which is often what happens when uh, the A6300 gets really, really hot, which again, will be a reflection of your environmental issues, not just the camera operating itself. So in my experience, uh, again, you can now get through uh, 30 minute clips. A lot will, ar many will argue that's how things should have been at the beginning, but that's really, you know, Monday morning quarterbacking. What it's all about is where we're at now and the fact that this camera was already best in class and now it just got even better. So if the only thing holding you back from picking up an A6300 was the overheating issue, I won't tell you that it's been resolved, but it has been remedied to an extent that it should not be an issue uh, for you any longer. This is still not a video camera, it's still a still camera first, but as a secondary function, the video on here is stellar and now overheating is a minor issue rather than a large one. So, you know, if you're going to try to film three hours of video, yeah, you may have some problems, uh, but it's going to be able to handle it. Whereas before, uh, just sometimes on any given take, sometimes I'd get 29 minutes, sometimes at 17 minutes, it would hit the overheat. Again, that was usually a reflection 
of environmental issues, but the point was it was not as efficient as the A7R Mark II when it came to firmware, and that's exactly the reason uh, that Sony retweaked things. Uh, I wish it would have come sooner, but the good news is that it did come at all. Uh, and again, a reflection that Sony actually listens to users, and they do end up uh, taking care of what consumers actually want in their products. So, uh, as I said earlier, I will be putting a link in the description for that firmware update, and if you haven't done it yet, do it. You have nothing to lose, and it was incredibly simple. You just have to make sure your camera uh, is in the correct mode, and, you know, basically hit that EXE and let it install. It'll take you through a few steps, like any firmware update. I had no hanging, no issues. I am running Windows 10 uh, 64-bit for those of you that are curious. I can't speak to iOS, or excuse me, uh, Apple users. Uh, I wish you all the best, but anyone in the Windows world should have uh, complete ease. Uh, it should not be any issue whatsoever upgrading. Again, it took three minutes. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button, and as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.